Talking, talking with famous people. On targeted altruism. So, for example, if I were to give you two choices, you have a choice to go to to give this much money to an organization that's going to buy somebody a mosquito net, or you have the choice to give slightly more than that amount of money directly to the person who is poor. Which do you choose? But that person might spend it on you don't know what. Which do you choose? Good question. I don't know that. One is, I, mean, I, don't, I wouldn't say one is better than the other, I guess. Well, is one more paternalistic than the other? Yeah. I think, I, de I definitely think that there are a lot, of or a lot of organizations out there that are doing things in a way that are probably making a more negative impact than a positive. So they're just going there and giving people money and just, you know, like, giving them stuff. Um, I mean, that's why we're, we're very picky about who we partner with. And we're, like, if we're partnering with an organization, we require, we, we require them to buy in for $500 up front. Um, and then, like, for these bathrooms, the family has to pay 10%. Uh, we're not just throwing money at them. And... I think we're we're very cautious about doing things in a sustainable way and pretty picky about who we work with um, because we are aware of those things. And, and I, I know you weren't asking specifically about this company, but I definitely think if if it's like if I'm giving my money to an organization that's just giving someone a mosquito net, that's probably more harmful than good in the in the end because they didn't have to work for it. In, but then they don't have to work for it either way. I don't know. You see what uh, I'm getting at, though? But my question is, what I'm not hearing from you at any point in this juncture is, what do the the poor foreigners want? I mean, I think that's where the where it came from, and it's like. That's how this whole bathroom thing got started. Would the poor foreigners that. prefer that you spend the amount of dollars it takes for you to come down and buy a bathroom, or would they prefer that you give them that money directly? I mean, they would probably prefer we gave it to them directly, but who wouldn't? They'd waste it on drugs and alcohol. Yeah, but I still don't think that's the... They're not going to use... $700 to build a bathroom that keeps them from getting a disease or parasites, but they disease and parasites are something that is very unhealthy and needs to be prevented. So they're you're probably gonna, you know you know better than they do what they need. Probably not. That's a hard question because in some ways probably, but in some ways. I mean, they're probably not educated enough to know that they need these things in some cases. So if you were to give them the money with a pamphlet that educated on them on this, this grave issue, would, would then they be informed enough to, to, to be justified in saying that they understand what they need better than you do? Or no. the infrastructure benefits of long-term capacity... I don't have a good answer. <laughs> Sorry. I'm not busting your chops, like I said. I'm just, I, no, I no. like these kind of questions because I think it's important for people to think about how we relate to other human beings and whether we treat them as equals or not. You know? Yeah. Talking, talking with famous people.